Hey everyone, what's up? It's Teacher coming at you with another edition of our Fresno State Bulldogs Dynasty in College Football 25. Last episode, we went undefeated 2 0 in Nevada, one against UNLV and one against University of Nevada Reno. And now we are currently sitting at 8 2. If you guys do enjoy this series, please leave a like. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Let's jump into this video right now, going up against the University of New Mexico Lobos, who are actually ranked in the top 25. So, starting off on the road here, it looks like the Lobos are going with their all gray unis here. Bold look, and honestly, not too bad. As we're rocking the white and red, we do not start out with the ball. Obviously, you see New Mexico try to go with an RPO to start off the game here. Looking at a now third and nine here. Drop back pass going for a screen to the outside here. Fortunately, though, the running back does, you know, juke out of bounds, and we get the ball after a forced three and out. As we get the ball at the 21-yard line here, Ivy drop back to pass, looking, sets up an RPO to the left side to Agaziva for almost the first down here. Few plays later, third down and inches. Looks like we're going to hand the ball off to Rivers up the middle, and we are not able to get it. We actually lose about a yard and a half, two yards there. And just like all year, we have been going for it. We've been very, very aggressive on the road, trying to get this first down here, throwing the ball off to the right to Agaziva and is able to pick, up it, pick it up for the first down there. Few plays later, second down and four. Ivy dropping back to pass and looking has an open Agassiz and he holds on to it again and he's just had a very very good year for his freshman year another again he was one of our five-star receivers that we got which and he has been playing like a five-star receiver all year long as Ivy dropped back to pass here and throws a dot to Jalen Moss there at the one yard line here or one inch line if you see where that blue line is compared to where the goal line is and we're going to do the best that we can here to run this thing in with Rivers and oh my gosh does he get lit up right there not good job on the offensive line blocking there as we're now facing a second down and goal passing it to Agaziva again and this was an all Agaziva drive it felt like a few rushes here and there but receiving wise Agaziva scored that touchdown pretty much on his own there as they run an RPO to the outside here if the receiver ran to the outside he definitely would have had some space and would have been able to maybe pick up that first down it's now second down and eight quarterback looking to run and he's got space breaks a tackle and barely gets caught by a shoot string tackle after picking up the first down a few plays later here third down and two Looks like the Lobos are going out of the shotgun here, handing it off to the left side, and they do not pick it up. Another stand by the defense, getting the ball back to the Fresno State Bulldogs. First play here, throwing an out route to Jalen Moss. Breaks a tackle, tries to juice in the fenders to the left side. Not successful, but does pick up the first down there. So that is huge. First quarter is running out here as Rivers takes it for about 10 to 12 yards. Gets pushed a few more. Now it is second down and 10, just starting the second quarter here. Handing it to Rivers again and does not see the hole there. Runs directly into a defender, and that is all right. But now we are trying to run some hot routes here with Agaziva on third and 11. And their stadium pulse isn't even that in, like that crazy, but we're still struggling to you know make the hot routes. Fortunately, we do. We hit Aga Aziva, Agaziva, excuse me, and he does not hold on to the ball. 40 yard line we're looking at a 57 yarder with our freshman kicker and it is up and it looks good ladies and gentlemen what a kick by the freshman he has been stellar all year long and that foot is going to help us win some very important games down the stretch as the Lobos get the ball to start the second quarter or I guess for their third drive of the game here trying to put some points on the board much needed after going down 10 nothing they have a huge gaping hole from the offensive line there but a few plays later, they are facing a third down and 11 here. As they're running a zone, they run a little halfback drop the middle and is not successful. So they got to punt it off to us now. It is now second down and nine from the 35-yard line. Running a jet sweep to the left side here and not able to pick up too much there. Three yards, if anything, forcing a third and six here from the two-minute warning here. So we're trying to put some points up before the half ends. Agaziva wide open over the middle, down the seam. I do have a video. If you do struggle with your passing, definitely check a look at my Tips with Teeds videos on how to use that seam. So now we're facing a third down and eight. Drop back to pass, looking, looking, finds Joel Hope on the outside. Haven't heard his name all game long. We've got 30 seconds to go here. First down and 10. Still have all three of our timeouts, and I think we're going to use one right here, which we do. And now it is second down and one. 28 seconds to go here. Looking, Agaziva's wide open for another touchdown, his second of the game, to put the dogs up 17 0 before the first half ends. We get the ball to start the second half, which is awesome. So technically, we're trying to double dip here. Score in the end of the first half while scoring again in the beginning of the second half. 
as we are now facing a second down and nine here doing some drag routes across the middle of the field not seeing anything there throwing it to Tarwater who ends up holding on giving us a chance here third down and five Ivy dropping back to pass, looking, looking, throws it outside to a wide open Agaziva. I'm not really sure what they're doing. He's been going off all game long, and yet they're still leaving him open. First down and 10, drop back to pass, looking wide open. Jalen Moss beat the press, and he is gone, folks. There, No one is going to stop him. What a beautiful touch pass by Ivy, our five-star quarterback. He is doing a lot there. Great season he has had leading the 12, or sorry, excuse me, the 8 and 2 12th ranked Fresno State Bulldogs to a 24 to nothing lead on the road against University of Mexico as they try to run a speed jet sweep, excuse me, to the right side, not having success there. They're running the ball through the breaks a tackle. Whoa, that was a huge one, but he only ended up pick up two yards there, so it really didn't matter too much. As it's now third down and eight, they're running a screen to the right. We get blocked, and can we stop? We cannot. Roos somehow looked like he was running in quicksand there, as they are now facing another third down and six from the 46-yard line here. Quarterback drawing back to pass, looking on the slant route here for the first down. Now it is second down and six from the 36-yard line, trying to put some points up on the board, trying to make this game more respectable here, bringing the blitz here, and the quarterback is not able to get the ball off, forcing a long third down, third down and 14, going with Roos here with the user, dropping back to pass, looking, looking, finds a wide open tight end up the seam, that is where he should have been, and he was not. So they get the ball now, keeping this drive alive, first down and 10 from the 19-yard line, and look at how slow this, like, the play took forever to develop, but the running back finds the end zone, Puts the Lobos on the board for the first time all game long, making it somewhat respectable. You know, and they're trying to go for two here, you know, again, to, you know, get as many points as they can because they don't feel like their defense can do much. And boom, what a hit by our linebacker there to stop that and force the miss. As they're trying to get, they're getting scrambling around here and they're trying to do something. And wow, did they get bailed out there. They're trying to flip their corners. Look, they're trying to flip their corners again. Ivy sees the mismatch, going to throw it deep. And he catches it. Jalen Moss catches it. It's one of the little glitches that I've seen. If you throw a few people in motion, they will flip their corner sometimes, and that really throws them off if you're able to get the ball off. We are finally able to, and look at this dime that Ivy throws. Unfortunately, better play by the cornerback here. He's facing a third down and 12, and Ivy throws a pick. Fortunately, though, we are able to bring him down, but that is not what you're looking for. But at the same time, he is a freshman, so it is to be expected, especially when you have a big lead. You don't really have to go for those, you know, tough passes as they get the ball back and first time running it, and they get hit behind the line of scrimmage, forcing a second down and 12 here. Now they're handing the ball off again for a second time, but this time we're able to get him at the line, basically. So forcing a third down and 12. Quarterback drop back pass, looking, looking. Throws it to Roos, right to our linebacker, and he has about seven, eight picks this year, guys. He is not playing like a traditional linebacker, and especially when you see the way that dude is dressed, you're expecting him just to hit hard. This dude picks the ball off, and he has been a huge factor for us as we throw an out route to Dimkey here. Allen Dimkey takes it all the way down to the 15, 16 yard line there as now first down in 10, handing the ball off to Rivers, just maneuvering his way through the line to pick up about three yards here as it is now early in the fourth quarter here. Ivy dropping back to pass, looking, looking, going to try and do it himself, slides just before the first down, making a third down inches. We got Greenberg taking the handoff here to the left side here. Can't get away from that offensive lineman, but he does pick up the first down. That is now second down and goal just before the two minute warning here and Rivers drags the defender into the end zone to get the dogs their 31 to 6 lead as he's hitting them with the gritty there. Oh man, just rubbing it in their faces as New Mexico gets the ball back here on the 16 yard line. Oh my goodness, our, our uh, linebacker got absolutely flipped there and oh what a hit by number 35 there our defender to knock the ball loose forcing a second down and 10 drawn back to pass looking looking off his back foot throws it to his tight end what a throw what a pass and what a catch now it is first down and 10 here trying to throw it on the outside route had his man but overthrew him 
or underthrew him or threw him just a bad pass in general should i say third down and 10 here looking looking oh what a pick by isaiah chisholm can he take this all the way the running back is doing everything he can to make sure he doesn't and wow what a pick we had two players there is either going to be roos or chisholm and one of our linebackers picked it off and again we get the ball in great field position and i like to put points on the board because we are trying to impress this college football playoff committee if we do not win the college football playoff then we need to have some style points as we try to just kick a field goal right before the end of the game but that'll do it 34 to 6 defense played extremely well and we dominated a top 25 team on the road on in hostile territory with a true freshman quarterback so that hopefully will get us some bonus points some brownie points as you see the stats by the player of the game brian ivy here Picked up 319 passing yards, three total TDs, and a 72% completion percentage. As we're about to hop into our next game here against Colorado State to finish out the year. And I cannot wait for this game because this is the first game that we are able to use our all-black unis. These things are gorgeous. They are so sick. Very cool to see in person as well. But because of the update that just happened, I hadn't been able to play with them. They just updated and brought them back into the game. And this is the first time that we are at home since the update. And because of that, I've had to wait as Colorado State gets the ball to start. And the quarterback is not off to a great start there. What a terrible pass, forcing a second down and 10 here. His drop back pass for blitzing, and he finds a receiver, a crosser, over the middle to make it third and short. As he's dropping back to pass here, looking, looking, and does not find an open receiver before getting clobbered by our number 55 linebacker there to force the three and out we're gonna run an rpo to start this off here got wide open agazeev on the outside here tries to break a tackle does not but still picks up about 26 yards here for the first down great start on the opening drive here as rivy's dropped back to pass looking looking throws it and uh, man did i jinx him or what there was a pick right to the linebacker did not see the zone that was being played there and that's okay we do have a great defense we're hoping that they can you know bend but not break and hold the colorado state rams to nothing here as they run a read option and look at this just look at this little white bike quarterback run man what the heck he's got wheels on him as he's able to easily pick up a first down there on the zone read and now they're coming out in the pistol formation here we're still running a blitz, and he had his tight end wide there if we wouldn't have gotten the quarterback. But now we got third down and six. He's dropped back to pass, looking, trying to scramble, and boom! Gets smacked again by number 55 for the sack, forcing a field goal. So we did bend but not break on the defensive side of the ball. So I am really proud of our defense for holding up right there. But our offense has got to score. It's going to happen. You've got to score to win as we throw it over the middle to McCune. He's not able to hold on to the ball here. And now we got a third down and four. Ivy's in the shotgun with trips to the right. Drops back to pass. Looking, looking. Throws it and lobs it over to defender to Allen. No, not Allen Dimke. Excuse me. That was Joel Hope for the first down. The numbers are a little bit more difficult to read here while I'm going through this right now. As Rivers tries to take this one outside. Picks up about six yards here. Giving us a manageable third down and four to work with. As we're at the 45-yard line here, Ivy is working his hot route magic. As he drops back to pass, he's looking, looking, got tar water over the middle with a crosser route or drag route for the first down for about 15 yards, which is keeping the chains moving, keeping the ball rolling. And look at this cut up the middle by Rivers for the first down, moving the ball very, very efficiently on this drive here as, wow, he's able to find Jalen Moss, our senior receiver, for the first down, which is huge. Again, keeping the defense off the field, looking over, seeing if we need to make any adjustments here. Looks like we're going to run a flood concept to the right side, but we have Ivy, who's setting up a few little drag routes from both receivers to the right, seeing if we can find open receiver, but he doesn't see the defender, and wow, does he get bailed out there, breaks that tackle, throws a little lob pass. Fortunately, that one was not intercepted, but now we are facing a third down and four here as it looks like we got rivers going to the flat and we got tar water over the middle on a drag and that is who we're going to go with here we do not pick it up we have an offensive holding but that is going to not get accepted because now we're facing a fourth down and one from the one yard line or from the two yard line so we can get a first down without picking up if we can get a first down without scoring a touchdown here as we hand the ball off to rivers and he somehow crosses the plane for a touchdown let's go dog seven to three that was very very close i think they even reviewed it but did not get it 
as Colorado State gets the ball back here, hands it off to their running back, breaks a tackle, and he's not able to pick up more than three yards there as they are running a fast offense, hurry up offense. I'm not really sure what the thought process is. Maybe trying to catch us off guard because that's the only chance that they have. But they still are changing their plays, giving us enough time to change our defense as well. As obviously on this play, it doesn't even look like that helped because they just ran it for about 15 to 17 yards. But they did lose an offensive lineman in the process. So that is definitely not going to help them as the first quarter does come to an end. Very first play of the second quarter here, hands it off to their running back doesn't pick up anything there as again they're going to the hurry up offense i'm not sure why but they think that they have us by doing this and let's see if they're right i don't really think that they are quarterbacks making a lot of changes having a lot of difficulty at bulldog stadium making adjustments here as they do a play action pass here drop back the pass looking looking and throws a pick to ellington tries to spin away from the receiver but gets tackled at the 27 yard line so maybe that hurry up offense shouldn't happen he's like yeah you should probably stop with the hurry up offense it's not gonna work all day and the, and the, play, the fans are loving it I'm loving it, the coach is loving it, and the offense is loving it because they are getting set in great field position on the 48-yard line here as we are running a jet sweep to the outside, spin move, and get hit about three to four yards there. So that tackle actually did benefit us as it's now first down and 10, trying to do it on his own, and wow, just ran right into the defender. Obviously, his, his uh, eyes were downfield as he did not see that. As we're running with an RPO here, they don't go for it, leaving Agazeva wide open here, and he is able to pick up about nine yards, giving us a manageable third down and five. It's running another RPO. We're going to see if no one's going to get us there, and no one is. We've got Jalen Moss breaks a tackle, almost breaks the second one to about the 14 yard line and our senior Jalen Moss I am not looking forward to him leaving his oh my goodness second and 20 after a holding penalty to start the drive and an incomplete pass Rivers takes it all the way for the score and hitting the gritty again oh my gosh he got that dance down I'm not gonna lie the man looks good but we are up 14 to 3 just under two minutes to go here we got to give the ball back to Colorado State and hopefully we can double dip again like we did last week against the University of New Mexico as they run a screen here to start the drive here and it's looking good because we are not making any tackles takes it all the way down to our 32 yard line obviously they are hurrying up offense and they are running back onto the ball and they're looking looking trying to find something but they get sacked not what they were expecting there. Hurrying all of their offensive players back to the line of scrimmage instead of just calling a play. They're wasting more time and energy by doing this. Third down and six here from the pistol. Quarterback is dropped back to pass. Look, look, and throws a pick to Roos. I'm telling you, enough with this hurry-up offense. You guys clearly aren't ready for it as our linebackers are sitting ducks just waiting, waiting to pick it off. And Maverick Roos, a senior transfer, been huge all year for the Dogs as it is now first down and now we're about to try and double dip again we're gonna milk that clock all the way down as you see it's 38 seconds there third down and one we still have all three of our timeouts so we can run the ball two times and not have an issue here as we are barely able to pick up the first down and we got 28 seconds we still don't even use our timeouts yet. we still got three timeouts as ivy's drop match has to look looking and somehow finds jalen mossy gets out of bounds and that was very very close to being intercepted in great ball placement and also awareness by both Ivy and Moss to make that play work. It is now third down and three. Drop back to pass and what a horrible looking pass there. Looks like that one just slipped out of Ivy's hands. Fortunately, it wasn't picked and fortunately we were able to get a field goal out of this drive and score before half. And now like we double dipped, we scored at the end of the first half. Now we're trying to score at the beginning of the second quarter, or third quarter, excuse me, as what a spin move there by Rivers to give us, I think it's about a 27 yard run there to start the drive. And look at this, look at this first down move. Whoop, right there. Third down and eight we're facing here on the 50 yard line here. Third down and eight, trips to the right. Ivy's got a few receivers set over there. Looking, looking, got a wide open RB if he's able to throw it, but he is not. They are able to get to him. The line did not give him enough time to throw and we have to punt it away. Fortunately, though, we do pin them to the four-yard line, but we got to make a tackle here when you finally see a gang of black jerseys right around that halfback to stop him for no gain. They're still on the four-yard line here. Going hurry-up offense makes a little bit more sense here that they are down two scores, but you're down at the four-yard line. you got to be smart in this area, and majority of the time they're going to run it, which, again, they did there. They can now third down and six, giving their punter a little bit of room if they don't convert. 
it looks like we're bringing the house here gonna put a lot of pressure on it no we're going zone and they kind of read that they ran it and fortunately did not get the first down there and had to punt it away we received that punt in great territory here as we're running this jet sweep to the right side here and can't get away hope was not able to break away from the defensive end there as we are now facing a third down and three we're going to put agaziva in motion to see what they're bringing here and it looks like they might be doing a zone when they do those kind of routes yep looks like he's going zone here runs to the right side again right into the defensive end and we got to punt the ball away again his Pocket awareness is something that he's definitely working on, you can see there, as we start the drive on defense with a great open field tackle with the running back. And again, they're going with the hurry up offense. One thing that I always think is funny, if people play me online or even play me on the CPU, they think that a hurry up offense is gonna help. I change my plays just like you change your plays. So don't expect me to run the same defense every single play. I got four plays in my back pocket that I'm always gonna use. As he throws it over the middle to a wide open tight end on a uh, crossing route for the first down again hurry up offense got their guys onto the field as quickly as possible got them up to the line looks like they're trying to hand it off and that just does not go anywhere i mean i get it when they're trying to run a hurry up offense when they gain yards but when you go backwards a few in my opinion you should just stop it until you gain yards and just keep going with that momentum but that's just me second down and 13 from the 39 and they're throwing it in. oh my goodness look at how close we were to intercepting that right there like literally a fingernail away from at least tipping the ball but now there is a third down and one. Now it looks like they're going from the shotgun. This formation with the tight end to the right looks like they are going to be running it to the left. At least that's what I'm predicting here. They tried to and they can't even get the handoff off. As I think that is Maverick Roos who's able to get the sack and force the punt. Our defense has been on point as we start this next drive off with a screen. And look at all that space there. Spin move. Oh my goodness. What a play for 25 yards there second down and 10 just before the third quarter ends and look at that cutback by rivers he has had a game today as again one more play before the third quarter ends hands it off to greenberg he's got some room to run as our offensive line has played very very well for majority of this game i would attribute a lot of their sacks to ivy as his pocket presence is still working itself out as he finds agazivo you haven't heard that name all a lot for a majority of the game there great pass there to him is now first down and goal drags a defender into the end zone rivers with the touchdown run absolutely beast mode there great run on his end the fans are loving it we are on the cusp of going undefeated in the mountain west conference as they're trying to deal, dial up anything that they can something to work off of here they are three and eight there their season is pretty much gone but first down and ten sack look at him playing the playing it isaiah chisholm playing the guitar there i love that i love the enthusiasm here second down and 16 they're dropping back to pass looking looking Finds a drag route over the middle to the left side there. Brings up a third down and nine. And again, they're hurrying it up. And again, we're going to see if we can bait them into an interception. And just so everyone's aware, I'm sure you are, but if you have not watched all of our series, this is playing on Heisman. So it's not like we're not playing on hard difficulty as the receiver there earned that catch, laid out, and still held on to the ball. As we're now facing a first down and 10, went the wrong way there in a wide open tight end there just opened up that hole and the quarterback found it from Colorado State so kudos to him to finding that space but now we're putting our defense in a little bit of a bind as we got about seven yards to you know cover here as the quarterback's looking into the pass here doesn't really find anything throws it out of bounds to the cameraman and the cameraman didn't really show any effort there but it's okay he's focused on the game so good for him second down and goal now Quarterbacks are looking, looking, doesn't find anything all day. And look at that coverage sack, our sixth sack of the game. Can you believe that? Absolutely impressive, in my opinion. I mean, you got two good teams going at it. Colorado State obviously isn't ranked as high. But, oh, no, he picks it off in the end zone. What a pick by Marshall in the end zone to essentially end the game with the little sword-winning duel celebration which is probably one of my favorite celebrations when it comes to picking a ball off here as we throw an out route to agaziva here for a first down just before the two minute warning and we're gonna get a second playoff before the two minute warning and this one's to agaziva again over the middle oh my goodness that one's for about like 25 30 yards as again we're trying to impress these voters as much as we can here as we find alan dimke deep over the middle to the 11 yard line again we are trying to impress the college football playoffs you know uh, 
judges or whoever they are, whatever you want to call them, and score as many points as possible. If you're trying to go deep, and that is not going to help. That is actually going to hurt us. You're throwing interceptions in the end zone. And are we going to be able to stop him? Fortunately, he juiced himself out of bounds because he could have definitely taken that one all the way. But now Colorado's got the ball back, and we almost had an interception. We were so close. A great play by the receiver to knock it out of our linebacker's hand there as he's facing out a third and ten. Going deep here. Boom. What an easy catch for Higgins. What an easy interception. I forget what interception it is. And look at him taking it to about the 47-yard line, 48-yard line. I think that might be our fourth interception of the game. You guys do the math. You let me know down below. And uh, regardless, again, we're going to try and score here. We're putting up as many points as we can as we try to go outside. And Joel Hope is able to get the edge. Wow. And we do get it to about the 33-yard line here as that injury does help us get a timeout here. As he run an out route to... Dimke again, and he takes it all the way for the touchdown, giving the Fresno State Bulldogs a huge lead, a much-needed touchdown to impress the voters, the judges, or whatever. 31-3 here. They're going desperado here. Third down and 11. Trying to do anything here. Going deep and picked off again. Ellington, I think this might be a second interception this game. What a pick by Ellington. I think that might be four or five. I could be mistaken. But regardless, that is going to do it for this game, ladies and gentlemen, as Colorado State just could not do anything on offense besides that second drive of the game. And the offense had its way except for that interception at the end in the beginning. But regardless, we are going to be going to the Mountain West Conference Championship, ladies and gentlemen, as Rivers, 11 rushing attempts, 102 yards, three TDs, balled out this game as we get a four-star defensive tackle from South Carolina, huge, and another four-star defensive tackle from Alabama. And again, like I just mentioned, we're going to be going up in the Mountain West Championship against Boise State, one of our biggest rivals in the Mountain West Championship, or Mountain West yeah, Mar Mountain West Conference football. So if you guys have enjoyed this series, like I mentioned earlier, if you knew the channel, subscribe. If you like this video in this series, please leave a like. We are going to be going up against Boise State next time I see you guys. And on top of that, from there on out, if we do win the Mountain West Championship, the rest of the video is going to be in the college football playoff. So you definitely do not want to miss that. However far we go, you will see there if we get the title or not. We are title or bust over here at Bulldogs because the last time we played, I think we made it to the semifinals or the quarterfinals, and we want to get a little bit farther than that. So don't want to miss that, but I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out. Peace.